inside the caravan. Yes. Any other woman? Yes. Tell them to come out. Do as I command. There is no need. What's happened? They would all have escaped had I not caught this one. Tell that man to take his hands off my grandchild. The key first, Doctor. Release it again. What are you? Let me kill them and be done with it. We will kill no one. Are you mad? They will only escape again. I don't think so. I'm sorry, Grandfather. So long as you're safe, Susan, that's all that matters. Where did you get this key, Doctor? Mr. Marco. I took it. You did? Yes. I searched her room last night. I see. What are you going to do about it? Tomorrow morning at dawn, we ride for Shang Tu. The next you see your caravan, it will be at the Great Khan's Summer Palace, and that will make an end of it. A day of hard riding. We left Cheng Ting at dawn, and by dusk it covered 40 miles. As this is a densely populated area of Cathay, Accommodation is not hard to find, and we have stopped for the night at an inn. Our baggage, including the doctor's caravan, is following on with a trade caravan. How's the doctor? Can over his ride yet? No. I don't think we'll ever get him on another horse as long as he lives. <laughs> Listen, we need the TARDIS. You must talk to Marco. Talk to Marco? I've done nothing else but talk to Marco. I... Oh, Marco, Ian wants a word with you. Oh. I'm feeling a bit tired, so I think I'll go off to bed. Uh, just a minute. Barbara, come here. I... Well. Well? Marco, you must give us back the TARDIS. Is that what you want to talk to me about? Yes. Look, I've told you before, Ian. You know what this caravan means to me. If I give it to the car, he'll let me go home. But we want to go home too, Marco. And we can't go home without the TARDIS. I have offered to take you back to Venice with me and see you safely on your way home from there. By boat. We can't go by boat, Marco. We need the TARDIS. Why? Why? All right. I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you the truth. I don't suppose you'll believe it, but still. As I told you, I come from England. Barbara... Well, I grant you England's a long way, but the journey's not impossible, Ian. The Crusaders did it. The Crusaders? Oh, Marco. To me, the Crusaders lived 700 years ago. What are you talking about, Ian? The Crusaders were in the Holy Land 25 years ago. I come from another time. Our caravan. It not only covers distance, it can cross time. Travel into the past and the future? Yes. Oh, I know it's difficult to believe, but it's the truth. On my travels to Cathay, um, I have come to believe many things which I previously doubted. For instance, when I was a boy in Venice, they told me that in Cathay there was a stone which burned. I did not believe them, but there is such a stone. I have seen it. 
It's black, isn't it? Yes. Coal. In Cathay, we call it the burning stone. And if a stone burns, why not a caravan that flies? Birds fly. I have even seen fish that fly. You are asking me to believe that your caravan can defy the passage of the sun. Move not merely from one place to another, but from today into tomorrow, today into yesterday. Oh, no, Ian. That I cannot accept. I'm telling you the truth, Marco. Are you, Ian? I swear it. Where did you get that? From your room. Whereabouts? Where have I hidden it? Come in. Surely you know where you found it. You didn't find it, did you? It was given to you and you lied about finding it to protect Ping Cho. Ian, don't you see it doesn't matter to me why you lied? What is important is the fact that you are capable of lying. So you don't believe me when I say I came from another time. If I did, Ian, I would give you the key. No sign of her. Well, she must have run away. But why? Because of that key, obviously. I'm not just... blaming you, Susan, but we must find her and quickly. Susan, have you any idea where she'd go? Well, speak up. There are robbers and cutthroats on the road. I, I think she might have tried to reach home. Some account. But that's a thousand miles from here. Can we go back and find her? I suppose we must. Khan ordered you to ride without delay to Shang Tu. I am also responsible for Ping Cho's safety. Well, you're the one who faces rule. Well, it can't be angry, Marco. Of course he will. Very well, then. You ride on. I'll go back and find Ping Cho. Alone? Why not? I can remember the road we came along. She can't be far. But she is in danger, and you yourself can't go. What do you hope to gain by this gesture, Ian? I'm sorry. When do you want to start? As soon as possible. Go with Messer Ian and prepare a horse and provisions. Don't worry, Marco. He'll bring her back. You mustn't underestimate him. Very good advice, Marco. When the embroiderers arrive, take them straight to the Lady Machin. My ladies, I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to... Please forgive us. Excuse me. What do you want? The trade caravan for Shang Tzu. There's the other man. The old man is very ill. It's my authority to collect. Uh, I see. I've got eyes. It's in the stables. Hey, give that to me. Now, about your business. The old man is a fool. Follow me this way. My lord? Yes? Are you with the caravan, my lord? I am, my lady. Is your caravan bound for Samarkand? It might. Why? I would like to journey with your caravan, unless it is going to Shantou. Uh, it's possible. I can pay. Uh, uh, come to think of it, uh, uh, we do strike in land. I'll talk to the commander of the caravan. Shall I come with you? No, you wait here. Give me the money. Don't worry, little one. I'll arrange it. You paid money, you foolish child. You've been robbed. Robbed? What shall I do? It was all the money I had. Haven't I seen you before? 
not long since. I know. You were with Messer Marco Polo's caravan. No, my lord. What have you done, child? Run away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Why did you oh. do it? The key? And I can't marry a man old enough to be my grandpa. I can't. Please don't take me back. Please. I must, Ping Cho. I <laughs> promised Marco. I knew I had seen her before, my lord. Silly child, let herself be robbed. What? Oh, some villain, posing as a caravan driver, took all her money on the promise of letting her travel inland with a caravan. Where did you meet this man? Here. At my way station? Impossible. No, my lord, he was in the courtyard with you. Oh, that one. But he was going to Shang, too. I have the document authorizing him to take the old lord's caravan from the stables. Here it is. Uh, the TARDIS is on the road to Shang, too, eh? Yes, my lord. Welcome to Shang, too. Excellency, there's something here for us to take. Oh, but the other man said you were ill. What other man? The one that took the old lord's caravan. But here's my authorization. <laughs> but What's the matter? Oh, nothing, my lord. Just a slight confusion. Uh, I'm sure it can be rectified. It's been stolen. The TARDIS has been stolen. I hope all is well and Ian has found Ping Cho. Our progress towards Shang Tu continues to be excellent. And we are now beyond the Great Wall spending the fourth night of our journey at an inn about 50 miles from the Summer Palace. You trust too much and doubt too little. Marco, let me go back after it. I will not agree to this. But, Marco, it's... Look, it's no good. How will it appear? If I stand before the Khan without you, you speak for no guy. Silence could mean war. But you must be at the Summer Palace. You, you must, must be, I say. <clears throat> Marco! The magician's caravan. Why do you think Ian offered so readily, so, so eagerly to go back after, after Ping Cho? What's your point? Ping Cho could be anywhere. The, the, the chances of finding her are very small, but Ian knows where the caravan is. He knows exactly where it is. You're wrong, Tagana. I think I know something of Ian's character. You can't know it all. Marco. Just give me a strong horse. Now, by using your name, I can bring them both back to you. I can bring the girl to you. And the caravan will be safe. You need the caravan. Because when peace is concluded with Kubla Khan, he might very well exchange this magician's caravan for your return to Venice. <laughs> ah. All their sympathies are with Ping Cho. They are all against this marriage. Then why did Ian go back to look for her? Exactly. <laughs> I'm glad to see that your humor is not impaired by our misfortune. What do you mean? What misfortune? Well, your friend Ian has not returned. You can only assume that he's failed to find Ping Cho. Oh, you haven't given him enough time yet. Anyway, I'm glad. I hope he doesn't. Oh, I see. You want to see her alone, do you? Without friends? She might be kidnapped, murdered. Well, that won't happen to her. She's got money. She can buy a safe back. Money? Are we all sit in fear for her and her, her intended husband sits in despair? Oh, even you couldn't be so cruel as to want to marry a man four times her age. Even I? I thank you, lady. And this is your opinion too, I suppose. I suppose so. One moment. Are you opposed to Ping Cho's marriage? So why are we... Answer there? my question, please. Yes, I am completely opposed to it. How very unusual for you and Ian to disagree. It isn't unusual at all. We don't agree about everything. And in this case, we're in complete agreement, all of us. This marriage has the Khan's blessing. Am I to understand that you oppose it? Am I? Yes. All four of you? Yes, all four of us. Take your horse to Ghana. You have my leave to go. Use my name or such powers as you will, but bring them both to the Summer Palace. I shall do so. Why did you 
did you do that? To make certain. Certain of what? That Ian has gone back to look for Ping Cho and not your caravan. <laughs> got to find it. I've got to. But where? Perhaps it is still here. No, oh, no, Ping Cho. We should have heard. Oh, it's been taken, all right. It must have been taken by some old road, some route that's no longer used. The Karakoram Road. Karakoram? But Karakoram's the capital of the Mongol Empire. Not anymore. Not since the Khan built his palace at Peking. Yes, but it'll still be an important place. I mean, caravans will still go there. Karakoram was not a city of stone. It was just a collection of tents. When the Khan moved, the Mongols dispersed. So the road isn't used anymore? Never. Then that'll be the answer. Why would someone take the TARDIS to Karakoram? I don't know, Ping Cho. But until I find it, we shall never leave Kublai Khan's cafe. Kublai Khan is pleased to grant you an audience. We await the great Khan's pleasure. All Chinese, very interesting. <laughs> it's odd that a Mongol should choose Chinese architecture, isn't it? Did you see those beautiful pavilions? Mm. Yes, weren't they magnificent? Some of them are made of solid gold. Are they? Uh, what size is the ground? Oh, they're enormous. They have to be to accommodate the Khan's two great passions, hunting and falconry. Yeah. Do you know in his stables he has 10,000 white stallions? Yes, well, one's enough for me, young man. Red, white, or blue. When great Kublai Khan appears, you will make your obeisance to him so that he may look kindly upon you and spare your worthless lives. Pray, then, what am I supposed to do, sir? Kow tow. Kneel upon the ground. And touch your forehead upon the floor. I three shall times. do no such thing. Kublai Khan is the mightiest man the world has ever seen. Not to pay him homage will cost you your head. Well, if it breaks my back, then he can take all of me. So why waste time on small items? Oh, father, please. Oh, do be quiet, child. I'm not going to be disrespectful. Silence! Silence. <laughs> Those who dare to come before the sight. Of the great Kublai Khan, Kow Tao. Kow Tao before the warlord of warlords, mighty and fearful in his strength. Kow Tao before the ruler of Asia, India, Cathay, and other territories. Kow Tao before the master of the world. Kow Tow! Kow Tow! Yes, yes, yes. I'll Change my back. What ails it? It's broken. Don't be impertinent. I am not being impertinent, sir. I'm far from unwell. How dare you speak out? I am shocked. This gout will be the end of us. Mako. Get up. My lord. Get up, all of you. Get up and rest. These gracious ladies. Also accompany you. They do, my lord. We bid you welcome to our court. Oh, What's the matter with him? Oh, five days hard riding on horseback, my lord. The doctor's not accustomed to it. Doctor? Oh, is he? Are you perchance a physician? 
I am not a doctor of medicine, sir. Otherwise, I should be able to cure these pains. Oh, what a pity. Where is the warlord Tikana? Riding for Shang Tu, my lord, with the Lady Ping Cho and a companion of theirs. No, guys, army is encamped at Karakorum. But that's impossible, my lord. When Tikana joined my caravan, No Guy's army was only 40 miles north of Samarkand. Then it stands hundreds of miles from Shang Tu. We are very anxious to hear Tikana's explanation of his master's conduct. I can understand my lord's concern. And it is my fault that he is not here. We are on our guard against treachery. Our patrols watch the Karakorum Road, and tomorrow we'll ride for Peking. Must we go to? Silence! Speak only when you are addressed. Ch -ch 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 -ch. What was it, you say? Well, I wondered if we might wait for Ping Zhou, uh, my lord. No, I think it is better that you ride with us. Oh, not another horse, sir. You spoke? I said I don't think I could get on another horse. Then walk! In my present condition, sir. And what about that lump of yours? Mm. The master of the world has a carriage of state. Uh, well, he's lucky it won't be talked about. <laughs> Tomorrow, you will ride in state. Uh, with us. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh, find suitable accommodation for our uh, guests. As my lord commands. Ah. Marco, hello. When Tigana arrives, bring him directly to us. Very good, my lord. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have healing waters here. Which relieve my gout. Come, let us observe their effects upon your aches and pains. Very well, very well. Oh, what a trial old age is. It must be borne with dignity, sir. We, oh, oh, dignity, <laughs> yes, Of course. Now, uh, take my arm, friend. Uh, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Oh, don't get up, sir. <laughs> That's the mighty Kublai Khan. Oh. Laugh if you will, sir. <laughs> but he is the greatest administrator the world has ever seen. I'm sorry, Mr. Marco. Marco, we can't leave here tomorrow. Not with Ardian and Bing Cho. I'm afraid we have no choice, Barbara. Don't worry, Tigana will bring them to Peking. Will he? That's him, Mr. Ian. That's the man who walked me. Yes. He's waiting for something. Waiting for somebody. That's why he's brought the card is here. You take cover. Get down, Ping Chu. Who are you? What do you want? Speak! Where's my money? Where is it? Where is the young girl's money? In my pouch, Lord. Get it, Peter. You're a greedy man, aren't you? Why, you brought the old Lord caravan here, I suppose, to get money. What was it? Yes, Lord. And who's going to give you that money? Tell me. Tell me. Ah. The warlord Tagama. Tagama. <laughs> I'm killing. Do so. He is of no importance. Come. Come. Yeah.